In this video, we're going to talk through how to activate, register your software, and we're going to introduce you to the basic user interface as well. So here we're going to open the Octopus software. And once the software is open, if you want to activate your software, it hasn't been activated already, you're going to go to this sprocket option up here on the top right, and you're going to go to new product key, and you'll type in your 16-digit product key here, and then you'll click OK. Once you've done that, your software is no longer in trial mode, and you can use your software. If you wish to use other features of the software, like the premium lesson content, so if you go in here, you'll see a login to my account. And if you have not logged in before, you have an option there to just click Not Registered. We're going to click on that link, and then we can input our details here. So I'm in the United States. What state am I in? Um, and then when it comes down to the bottom, you'll see, do you have a product key for premium lessons or blend? You're going to say yes. And you're going to type in that same key that we activated our software with into this form here. And then, of course, you're going to agree to the terms of use if you agree to the terms of use and click Submit. And then you have an account used, uh, set up online that you can use to access those premium features as well. Uh, we're just going to talk about a couple of the uh, user interface features. So if you look up at the top, you'll see that you have the option to uh, you know, create new files, open files, save files. Also have some general tools for undo, redo, copy, paste. And then the section that we were in just a moment ago, uh, those are sort of specialty tools, setting up my language preferences, setting up preferences within the software in general. For instance, I might go into preferences if I want to change the location of the software, if I want to set that to be uh, on the right-hand side, toolbar location right, and it's going to switch the toolbar over to the right-hand side of the screen. And here we're going to talk about more user interface features of the software. If you look down at the bottom, we have a tools icon. At the moment, we're looking at the tools section, the standard annotation tools. That's my pens, my lines, my handwriting recognition, text tools, shapes, add images, highlighters, uh, spotlight, keyboard, clear screen, screen recording. Um, all of those types of features are within the standard tools. There are other categories as well. I can change those across there. I can look at math, literacy, uh, science, uh, voting, or lessons. And we'll talk about these different sections uh, as we go through in other videos. The next section we want to look at is the slide section. The slide section is a copy of all of the thumbnails of the slides that exist in the current activity. So as I create an activity or an activity that I've already opened, I'll see all my slides here. Right now I'm in a one slide activity, so you're only seeing one slide here. If I click the plus button to add a second slide, you'll see we have two of two slides. And you'll see I now have two slides represented there in the slide section. And the last section on the bottom, this is my background section. Right at the moment, we're viewing our desktop. So this is what we call our glass mode. You can work over the top of any other document, application, or website in this glass mode. So this allows you to use any of your resources that you already are used to using and just add the features of this software in along top of it. Uh, or you could work in one of the other standard background modes if I wanted to just have a blank page, a lined page, uh, graph paper, whatnot, you can scroll through and use the different uh, background options within the software here as well. And lastly, we have a quick tool palette that you can access from anywhere within the software. All you need to do is long tap on the screen and that tool palette will show up where you're touching so that you can access it in that location and I can use my standard features that I have on that quick tool palette, my pencil, my copy, my paste, undo those types of features.